Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm a reference librarian at Wood County District Public Library and for National Poetry Month, I'm going to read the opening lines of The Aeneid by Virgil. Um, this is an epic length poem about the founding of Rome. So here goes nothing. I sing of warfare and a man at war. From the sea coast of Troy in early days, he came to Italy by destiny, to our Lavinian western shore. A fugitive, this captain, buffeted cruelly on land as on the sea, by blows from powers of the air. Behind them, baleful Juno in her sleepless rage. And cruel losses were his lot in war, till he could found a city and bring home his gods to Latium, land of the Latin race, the Alban lords, and the high walls of Rome. Tell me the causes now, O oh muse, how galled in her divine pride and how sore at heart from her old wound, the queen of the gods compelled him, a man apart devoted to his mission, to undergo so many perilous days and enter on so many trials. Can anger black as this prey on the minds of heaven? Tyrian settlers in that ancient time held Carthage on the far shore of the sea, set against Italy and Tiber's mouth, a rich new town, warlike and trained for war. And Juno, we are told, cared more for Carthage than for any walled city of the earth, more for Samos even. There her armor and chariot were kept, and, fate permitting, Carthage would be the ruler of the world. So she intended and so nursed that power. But she had long since, she had heard long since that generations born of Trojan blood would one day overthrow her Tyrian walls. And from that blood, a race would come in time with ample kingdoms, arrogant in war for Libya's ruin. So the park eye spun. In fear of this and holding in memory the old war she had carried on at Troy for Argos' sake, the origins of that anger, that suffering still rankled deep within her, hidden away the judgment Paris gave, snubbing her loveliness, the race she hated, the honors given ravished Ganymede. Saturnian Juno, burning for it all, buffeted on the waste of sea those Trojans left by the Greeks and pitiless Achilles, keeping them far from Latium. For years they wandered as their destiny drove them on from one sea to the next. So hard and huge a task it was to found the Roman people.